Hi and welcome to Food Forest Hugaculture. What I'm doing here, I've decided this stony raised bed, I'm going to use the principle of hugaculture. It's to use decaying debris wood as a base layer and then build it up with grass and soil and really build it high so this wood here, these old branches and bark and stems will all break down. What's so lovely within the permaculture principle, I use renewable resources and services and produce no waste. So we had strong winds over the last week and sadly a beech tree had, had fallen. Here's a picture of it. And what I had done, I had to clear a driveway, which is obstructing, and I managed to reuse all this wood. I've got some lovely big bits over here of the beech tree, which I'm gonna dry and cure. And again, some can be used as canes or wood to give me a fuel, which is capture and store energy. But this here, under the hookah culture principle, I'm going to use this wooded debris as the underlayer and then build it up with maybe some grass turned over, some grass clippings and soil and just really have a thriving, wonderful bed. And what's lovely that over the years this will break down and put all those nutrients back in the soil and it allows wonderful drainage too. The hookah culture also builds moisture and holds fertility really well so it would be a great area to grow and build be beautiful vegetables or fruit can come here I'm thinking wouldn't it be fun to do some lovely squashes but I'm going to raise it up to a good level so around the edge I'm going to build up with some boulders that we've got from on our property and then that would be just a wonderful mound and that will work really well with our other growing area Broad beans have done very well, we've had lots of wind and they're very upright still. So they'll carry on through winter and then give us a lovely crop early. So the garlics are pushing through now, so I know the technique with the soil and wood chips working great. And I've added some new additions, so I've got a lovely climbing rose in the corner. And then one, two, three, four, beautiful rambling roses they are called seagull rose <laughs> quite apt for my channel but they're one of my favorite roses so this is the label seagull rose really gets big so 24 feet what I've done just until I've completely cleared the wall I put them in really large pots so they can overwinter well because they came as bare root and then grow really well next season and hopefully the season following I'll plant them in their final position but I've got beautiful really happy climbing roses rambling roses and what I like about them is that they flower once but then they give these beautiful orange hips bringing in so many bees and pollinators which will help pollinate the growing area so that's really exciting down here this section here is the Viburnum opulus or the Gilda roses. They're overwintering now and you can see the new buds coming. So they're happy and resting until to burst into life next season or the season coming. <laughs> so that's looking good. Through here I've got the two Chaminolis, the flowering quinces in. Again as you can see they're looking happy two varieties there, a white and a red one. And down the back of our fence I've planted about 12 pyracantha, which are an evergreen hedge which provide great flowers for pollinators and then the, the berries too for birds to enjoy. There's a little new addition, just a nesting pouch for my friends. This is my makeshift worm farm at the moment. In there I've, in there I've got all worms enjoying themselves with all the peelings of food. And let me show you, I've been digging down and moving the soil and underneath 
look at how good quality that soil is so it's becoming real crumbly that soil has broken down over a good year with the cardboard or nearly a year with the cardboard the no dig technique and that's going to be really rich and happy and fertile Okay, I've built up the rocks around the edge, another level, so it's lifted up. So if I drop down, you can see it's got a bit more contrast to it. Got the lovely wood pile here to the right. That's going to be great for bugs and insects just to overwinter and find a good place to rest. And then this, the hygge culture, is looking a lot better now. I've broken down the branches, lined it with these wonderful boulders or rocks look at them and there you go that looks great doesn't it and also what I found out the hessian is biodegradable so where I had the hessian just to help suppress weeds and where I put my original compost waste food in there the hessian will break down in two to three years so all biodegradable so I'm really pleased with this this is hygge culture on the way hello there's our friend the robin i hope you have a great day and enjoy your future projects and let me know in the comments section what you're going to be doing in the year to come so until next time have a great day and happy gardening and happy new year